Jesus, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to They Are Here. Today, I did the pro. Well, yesterday I, I did the prologue, and today we are going to play the demo. So, unexplained phenomena occurrence at Greywood Farm on the night of August seventh. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in random directions at different speeds. After a while, uh, they vanished. The strange behaviour in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was waking walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is, what is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Greywood's farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Okay, here we go then. So this is basically what the main game is going to be based upon okay so similar feeling we can still there you go it's great material for news report okay That's it then, is it? Sherman's house. Well, this is a bit weird, isn't it? Pawn's like shaking, a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, I saw something over there then. Oh, what happened there? This is a bit weird. Mr. Fox, we're in an appointment, but something bad happened. A daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Okay then. Just inspect the house. Phone. Weird noise is coming from it. That's obviously them, is it? In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Is that did that say one? Photo in the photo, yeah. Can I can I shut the door? Yeah, I think I'm going to shut that door because, uh, okay, looks like coat cans, I don't like how the cur curtains are just too short for the window, well, I, I don't get it, why would you buy curtains that are too short for your window, it's definitely like, I don't know, I don't, I don't like how that's that, can you close the curtain please? Can we just close that? I'd love to just be able to close that curtain. Yeah. Okay then. Sorry for the overlap thing popping up on the screen. Alright. Another photo. The photo members of the Sherman family. Okay, but, ooh, is there like stuff on the back? No. Yeah, like those little, those horror game little secrets stuck on something then. The worst thing is is that there's like all these little like open windows and you just know like look you just know that you're just gonna look out this window at some point and, and something's just gonna be stood there okay that's good I know where the electricity is 
for later, obviously. Okay, so daughter's bedroom. Picture of an alien at the window. It looks like this drawing was made of a missing daughter and the farmer. It's painted on both painted on both sides. Oh, okay then. That took a bit of a turn, didn't it? You've got the alien and the dog and her waving at it, and then the alien has killed the dog. Nice. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Yeah. What, this window? Apparently, it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds, yeah. Those corns just shake very violently, don't they? What What is that all about? Just the ominous glowing... Oh, it's a computer. I thought I just saw something in the window then, but... It was probably just my eyes. Pictures of aliens. Oh, there we go. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, grey skin, long thin limbs, their voices and nothing else. Uh, nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have nosebleeds, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapse. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in an unexpected place, for example, in the middle of a field, or on a road, a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds, and this affected their physique. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact during palpitation. It felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Mm. Interesting. I don't like these windows, man. Oh, I can open. Boots. Just, okay then. Just open his window and there's some boots and a sock. Cowboy hat. Photo from the internet, perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar that looks creepy. So we can look through these. Again, photo from the infrastructure, yeah, it's all. These, the funny thing is, is these are actually taken photos from the internet. What? I jumped over a table. What's that say? UFO activity area, the little sticker in the corner. Okay, my old diary. From when I was 15 years old, how could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's time. True. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low and above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights on windows was hovering. I felt a punch and it seemed to throw me into the air. I froze, there was zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing these three aliens with grey skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me they were communicating with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home in the, if I was a delibrium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Alright. Okay, so... 
I think I've now entered. began to bother me, they torture me to this day. I went to the doctors a dozen of times but no one could explain the reason for these occurrences. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remember the aliens' abduction when I found my old crazy diary. Why did I add crazy into that? It doesn't even say that. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind, my, behind the ears were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. I was 
just found it. And then like, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it. Wait a minute. Maybe I should have put it back because now I. Do these decisions. Like, can I can I put it back now? Oh no. <laughs> I took it back without even took it without even thinking about it because now I have it they're gonna follow me around task return to the car oh Jesus my god my I'm not even I'm not even joking right now the, the hairs on my arms standing up I I dislike this very much where did it go did it like jump over the side or something do I just run okay okay it's gonna That was my car, wasn't it? <laughs> F this poop. Run to the car, I'm trying. Okay, I'm, I'm actually running. Wait, why is there just some clothes there? Do I get in the car? Oh, I'm in the car. Okay, I think. is not starting. How short am I? I can't even see what it's <laughs> I was too busy looking at the spaceship. I didn't even notice the free ones standing on there. In the full game, you will find the large territory of Greatwood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. It's already in my wish list, guys. It's already there. I will definitely be playing this comes out. It kept me on the edge of my seat and it was only a really short demo. I enjoyed that. I really did. Guys, if you enjoyed that, let me know. Like the video. And if you want to see more games like this, more horror games, more short horror games as well to be specific, then please consider subscribing. Guys, thanks for the support. Please keep liking, please keep subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.